Oh, hey girl, hey. I'll be starting this look off with the Max Paint Pot in Painterly. Then I'm going to take this color Nougat from the Too Faced Semi-Sweet Chocolate Palette. And I'm gonna work this into my crease and the outer corner of my lid using a Sigma E40 brush. Then I'm going to take the color Peanut Butter from the same palette, and I'm going to be using this brush from the Urban Decay Vice palette, and I'm going to apply this color to the outer corner, the inner corner, and then make a little bridge to connect the two. And just make sure you're avoiding the center of the lid here. Then I'm gonna repeat the same step on the other lid. So I will be starting on the outer corner again, and then taking this into the crease, and the inner corner and then I am connecting it with that little bridge into the crease. Then I'm going to blend this out with my Sigma E25 brush here and then I'm going to work on the lower lash line and I'm only working on the outer and inner corners of the lower lash line avoiding the center as I did the top lash line. Then I'm going to blend all this out with my Sigma E40 brush. Then I'm gonna take this color from this Lunatic Cosmetic Labs palette called Hexia, and I'm taking that same brush from the Urban Decay Vice palette and just going over the peanut butter color using the same exact technique, so going in the inner and outer corner, just dabbing that color there and then connecting it within the crease with almost a little bridge, avoiding the center. And you don't have to be perfect here because we're going to blend it out here in just a second. Just make sure you're getting it on the inner, outer corners and that bridge, get that defined right there. Then I'm taking the Sigma E25 brush and just blending that out nicely so there's no harsh lines there. And then I'm gonna focus on the outer corner of the eye, on the lower lash line, and on the outer corner of the lid. I'm just going to kind of blend this red color together. And then I'm going to use this Sigma E30 brush, it's a pencil brush, to put this color on the inner corner of the lower lash line. And then I'm gonna go ahead and blend it all out with this Sigma E40 brush. Then I'm taking this color Butter Pecan and I'm using a flat brush to apply this to the center of the lid. We are just focusing on the center here of the top lid and the lower lash line. I didn't really like how this brush was working so I switched to the Sigma E55 just to add a little bit more pigmentation. Then I'm going to soften that line in the crease so there's no really weird harsh lines from adding that highlight color. Then I am taking this eyeliner. This is the Urban Decay 24 7 liner in the color perversion and then I am taking the Sigma E30 brush and just smoking that eyeliner out a bit and creating a little bit of a wing and then I also lined my waterline with this black eyeliner then I'm adding mascara this is just the L'Oreal Manga Lash mascara then I'm going to do my brows with the Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow in blonde I go back and forth with brow products, so I don't know, I was loving this one today. Then I'm going to take my NYX Wonder Pencil, and this is the color Light, and I'm going to outline my brows just to clean them up a bit, and blend them out with a flat brush. This one is from BH Cosmetics. Then I'm going to take the Hoola Bronzer by Benefit, and I am going to quickly, obviously, very, very quickly, um, just contour. I'm not really doing a harsh contour, I'm just adding some bronzer, just warming up the face a little bit. And then I'm gonna take this blush by Benefit called Rockateur. I freaking love this brush. Brush, blush, it is a blush. And this brush, this one is Eco Tools. I actually really like this blush, and I don't know what was going on there. And then I am just touching up and intensifying the red color in the crease a little bit. I always do this, I do not know why, I just love intensifying that crease color, it's just as good. And then I am just touching up the inner and outer corners as well. Then I'm going to take this NYX, the NYX lip pencil, yes, in Nude Truffle, and I am lining the outside of my lips, just outside my natural lip line, and then I'm taking the color Nude Beige, going over that line I just made and then I'm going to fill in the actual lip 
as well, just to kind of give this start of an ombre effect. Then I'm going to take this color Nude Embrace. It is a matte lipstick by Maybelline. And then I'm going to take this lip cream by Lunatic Cosmetic Labs called Coven Cream. It's almost a gray color. And then I'm using the Maybelline Lipstick Blush and Beige on the center of the lip to finish the ombre effect. And that is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.